Hello, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Today, I want to go over paycheck number three for the month of April. We got paid yesterday, and this uh, paycheck is going to cover for bills from April 6th to April 20th. So let's get started. So we got here paycheck number three. It's going to cover bills from April 16th to April 20th. First thing first is net income. The net income that we use is the after all deductions from our employer, like taxes, health care. We have a pension for 1K, all that good stuff. And I also deduct our tithes and I do include a small rollover. Okay, we're going to work with $1,511.40 for this week. Let's see. First thing first is we use the pay yourself first method. That method is where we focus on savings, investing, paying off debt, then we focus on fixed expenses and we spend the rest. So for this week, uh, let's see, we have, let me add here tithes. I'm gonna put a line because it's already been deducted, it's already been paid extra to the mortgage. We're gonna work with $500. We're sending $500 extra to our mortgage and we're gonna do, okay, next bill is a uh, car payment. Car payment, $317. That is just the minimum payment. We are focusing right now on paying off our mortgage. That total is $817. I'm looking at the calendar and I don't see any fixed expenses do this pay period. So I'm gonna just draw a line here, and this would be fixed expenses. And I'm gonna just put a zero, that's pretty good. So I'm pretty happy for that because, let's see, get our income, deduct our bills, $1,511.40 and the total bills $817 and now the category of um, I call it others is where we spend the rest okay so we're going to work with $694.40 that's a great amount okay so that's a good am amount I could work with that let me see the 16th. Yeah, it's only four days. So this is great because we have no food. So others, let me explain others. So <clears throat> others is I don't um, do cash envelopes. So others is like food, household, gas, gifts, takeout, uh, fun money. Um, so what I was doing is Instead of putting cash envelopes, I just try to keep it really simple, okay? We focus on our, our paying off debt, our investing, savings, you could add savings here, and then we pay our, pay our bills and we spend the rest. Um, this is a great method for us because we're, pay, we're paid weekly. Even though we're paid bi-weekly, we're paid on the opposite week of each other. So we have a check every week. So it works very well, okay? So it's not like we have to try to spend others, you know, for two weeks and stuff. So it works very well. This is a great amount for me right now because if you see my other videos, I only have like $300 or, you know, and last week, I think I have it here. I went over and I'll explain that on my monthly recap review um but um i do just make sure we're not going over this amount and when we do go over like last week okay i have a savings account where it's just cash savings it's not an emergency it's for my cash flowing so whenever i go over our weekly amount of others 
I can go into my savings, which is like our what you would call sinking fund. Okay, I just call it savings. It's just one category, one amount, and we just um, pay any unexpected bills from there if we don't have enough. We try to cash flow everything, and then if we don't have enough, we go into our savings. So let me know if this can work for you. Um, I believe Penny's Not Perfection, she gave a great tip. She's using this method right now, and she really liked it. Um, and she also talked about fun money. And I think that next month I'm going to incorporate fun money as a fixed expense and put its own category because fun money to us, we just started doing fun money last month and it's not working out. I don't know how much I gave my husband, how much I haven't spent any, and I can't keep track. So because we just, I'm writing it down. I have my um, expense tracker here and he has his own. But I think I just need to maybe list it here. But then I don't want to keep track. That's that's the whole thing. I don't want to keep track. So I just want to put it as a fixed expense, write it down, and I can just see, okay, $50 here or $100. Because we give each other $100. So I think I'm going to incorporate that next month. And for the month of May, I'm going to add a category for fun and keep track. So thank you for the tip. Uh, Penny's not for perfection and go down and see her videos. She's great. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, what are your, uh, let me know what bills you're paying. And let me know if this method will work for you. Um, I think the cash envelopes is great, um, but they don't work for me right now. And I used to use them, okay? I used to use the cash envelopes. But let me know what you think. I hope you got some value out of this video and see you on the next video. Bye.